Okay. So today we are talking about the cell volume change through water influx impact cell stiffness and stem cell fate. Written by the David Watch. David Watch is one of the um, mechanobiology scientists yeah, working in now he's working on yeah, John Serkis as far as I know. Mm. At the time he was working in Harvard University. Yes. So the key word is cell volume. Anyhow, cell, cell volume change. So volume means not 2D, 3D aspect, right? Mm -hmm. mm, not surface. When you, when you want to say area, spreading area change, which is term of the 2D. But volume, they also think about the height of the cell. So which is the volume is the mirror of the 3D structure. So through the water efflux. Water efflux means influx inside of the cell, efflux outside of the cell. Okay? Impact, cell stiffness. Stiffness, you know it. How hard it is. And stem cell fate. Mm. So they first change the cell volume. Mm. Uh, how they change it? Ah, from the osmotic pressure. Mm -hmm. Osmotic pressure means, let's say you have mm, normal osmotic, let's say, as far as I know, 300. What is it? Uh, yeah, right, right. So, in case of osmotic, we can say hypo. Hypoosmotic, I mean hyperosmotic. Hyper means more high concentration outside, mm -hmm. and then hypo means low concentration. So let's say this is a cell. When there is more, example, sodium chloride in the outside compared to the inside of the cell, outside sodium chloride is is more concentrated. What happened to balance the sodium chloride ion concentration between inside or outside which was uh, up, um, categorized by the cell membrane right so the water can go outside or inside outside right water can should go outside to decrease some um, sodium chloride concentration outside mm. Because anyhow, there's, the concentration should be matched. Mm -hmm. One millimole inside, ten millimole outside, and then maybe around five millimole, they should be matched each other. So for that, ten millimole should be dilute to the five millimole. In that case, water should go outside. So this is a concept of the osmotic pressure. And then what happened in other way? One millimole inside, point one millimole outside, and then. The average is around 0.5 millimole. For that, 0.1 millimole in the outside should be concentrated, and then the water should go inside of cell. Okay, this is the mirror of the fact. And then they check in that case. So they are using different osmotic pressure, and then change the cell volume here, and then they check cell moduli is stiffness of the cell, cytoplasmic, just cytoplasm, cortical, cortical is another term of the cell, and Berg. So regardless of their component, yeah, Berg means so general cell, general cell, cell itself, and cytoplasmic is, you know, their nucleus and cytoplasm, they only check the cytoplasm, not above the nucleus. Okay. Cortical, as far as I know, they check only the, how can I say, outside, mm -hmm. outside of the cell, like cell membrane, something like. That. So, regardless of their where they check the stiffness, low cell volume increase cell stiffness, high cell volume decrease. Okay. And then, how fast they change it mm -hmm. in Figure B? So they 
they they added osmotic compression. Compression means um, they added hyper osmotic solution outside of cell, and then cell should be condensed because the water should go outside, right? In that case, at thirty second they added, and then within thirty second cell cortical shear modulus dramatically changed to 2,000 around to 5,000 around, okay? Which means within 30 seconds, cell stiffness change. Why? Cell volume change, okay? So we can say that cell volume change should be first performed because of water change, right? And then, based on the cell volume change, cell stiffness can change. Cause, on, from the cell membrane, through cell membrane, only water can change each other, inside, outside. The ingredient of the cell, like mitochondria, or some actin, or most of the protein inside, they never go easily to outside or inside. You know, they are very, how can I say, in, uh, receptor mediated, or certain special channel should be involved, but it's not very dynamic. It will take some time. But in this osmotic condition pressure, only water can change. So that's why cell volume change first and then stiffness change later. But the time is very short between these two. Anyhow, the, this, this paragraph they said that cell volume change and stiffness change. So for example, if you measure the cell volume in certain matrix, certain condition, you can imagine cell volume increase which means cell stiffness can decrease. Reverse, cell volume decrease, cell stiffness can increase. And then you want to know what is the meaning of the cell stiffness increase or decreasing. Today, I share with you, in case of T-cell, cell stiffness increase means cell T-cell activation. But maybe in case of MSC, for example, cell stiffness increase is more related to the osteogenesis. Compared to, the compared to the adipogenesis. Stem cell can go bone, muscle, fat. Fat is soft, bone is hard, simply. So when cell stiffness can change to the heart, maybe they are more prone to go to osteogenesis. Okay? Yes. It makes sense. So, and then in, in another way, okay, this cell volume change dependence stiffness only detected in osmotic pressure environment or other environment. They can ask. So now they are using two different soft and stiff matrix using same composition but different cross-linking ratio. In case of soft, okay, in this is 2D area. 2D area, they are very small and large. Right? But when you do the G stack, G stack means like 3D manner, you can capture them together for making cell volume. In, in G stack images, the cell height is more higher in soft than stiff. Right? Mm -hmm. And then they can calculate the cell volume from these images. And then, so first, this thinner. Panel B is about the project cell area. This is some 2D, like this. This is always we looking at confocal. 2D. In 2D, increase of stiffness from the 100 Pascal to plastic glass. This is one, 100 Pascal. Next one is kilopascal. Next one is megapascal. Next one is gigapascal. This is some 10,000 time difference between the Pascal, Kilo, Mega, Giga, right? This plastic glass is Giga Pascal. But, so maybe 1,000, 10,000 times increase. Anyhow, they check many type of cell, MSC, fibroblast, cancer cell, and smooth cell. All type of cell have some tendency to increase to the cell area over increase of stiffness and but what happened volume 
volume reverse, volume decrease, right? So when you think about this cell height, even though 2D projection area, it looks very small. But really, when you look at the when you look at from the side, the cell volume is here literally this is more higher than this one. Mm -hmm. So, but you you have to think about this is some only stiffness dependent manner. But if you look at the osmotic pressure dependent manner, they didn't reveal 2D and 3D reverse one. Now. They didn't see it, it, it in this time, right? They only correlate the 2D area and 3D volume from the different stiffness parameter, not from the osmotic pressure mm -hmm. at this time. So when you look at the cell, the parameter is stiffness. Maybe this can be correct. But the parameter can be different like nanotopology or some other parameter or the matrix or some biomolecule. And then this trend can be reversed. Mm. Reverse means 2D area can correlate to 3D volume sometimes, positively. But here, negatively. Okay. And then they check. Mm, this is they change the diameter of the cell adhesive area. Okay? This is another parameter they change. Figure one, osmotic pressure. Figure two, stiffness. Mm -hmm. Figure three, adhesive area. When they change the adhesive area from 30 to 50 or on parent, on parent means just Ran without any limitation to the area projection from the top and 3D volume change it. And then they check the volume on patent which has more spreading area, they show less cell volume. Okay? This correlates the stiffness. Stiffness also spreading increase correlate cell volume decrease. Here is the same manner. And then they check 2D and 3D, and then they show reverse negative correlation, same as the stiffness, right? So, so they want to say this can be general concept for affecting the cell from geometry or stiffness, okay? And then even though they check the spreading on glass, very high stiffness substrate, depending on the area increasing, cell volume decreasing. So over time, also it works, this concept. So they want to say, cell spreading, regardless from the stiffness or cell adhesive area, cell spreading means cell volume decreasing. And in case of osmotic pressure, when osmotic increasing in the outside, cell volume decrease. But they didn't mention detail about the cell spreading here. Because you can imagine within 30 seconds, really can cell spread it? Maybe not. Right? So that is why, in case of osmotic pressure, this is so much dynamic within 30 seconds. So maybe area cannot be changed. Only cell volume can change. Hmm. So the reverse correlation between 2D spreading and cell volume can be obtained when cell behave dynamically from the stiffness or cell adhesive area, but not from the uh, osmotic pressure. And now they want to know what kind of internal component, intercellular component can mediate this kind of change of cell volume. And then first, untreated. Second, ATP dependent. ATP is cell need ATP to do something, always. So they need energy or not. <coughs> Extreme osmotic compression. They use three different condition and check. So untreated normal, stiffness increase and cell volume decrease. When they deplete ATP using certain chemical, what happened? This decreasing tendency is not observed, right? Which means this decreasing 
of cell volume can, can be mediated by ATP, right? Because when ATP is absent, this strain is similar, which means ATP doesn't matter. They don't have any role, right? So when they make flat, which means they are involved. Blevy statin treated also flat. Why is Blevy statin? Blevy statin is actin myosin contractility inhibitor. Actin is such a skeleton, like bone. Myosin is a kind of muscle in the human. So as you know, bone cannot deform by themselves. Always dead in the muscle. In case of a cell, always myosin 2 activity should play for changing the actin. This blevistatin treated, myosin 2 is gone. So actin only there without myosin 2. And then, so they want to know the role of the actin myosin contraction, which means they are involved, right? The graph make it flat, not go down. MPPB, what is MPPB? Chloride channel inhibitor, right? Mm -hmm. But chloride channel inhibitor maybe seems to little decreasing or almost similar. Okay. So maybe we can say that not dramatically decreasing. So this also involved. Chloride channel because um, when the water can go outside, inside, maybe some ion channel can be involved. So they select chloride ion channel, which is uh, well known and then mostly distributed in the cell. So that's why they check this ion channel and then it also involved. And then they compress by pure PEG. Actually, how they change the osmotic pressure. The biocompatible biopolymer, PEG, they can change. High PEG amount, they are non-toxic, so they can change the high osmotic pressure. And then low PEG concentration also decreasing. So, okay, when you look at the PEG compression, high osmotic pressure, so the cell volume all same, regardless of substrate. Okay, so in case of osmotic pressure, cell volume doesn't matter. They all go down regardless of stiffness. Because, as I told you, cell needs some time to adjust the cell area. But in case of uh, osmotic pressure, it takes 20-30 seconds to change the volume. So fast, so some cell cannot spread at the time. But in case of this other ATP, BLEBI, and PPB, it will take 24 hours. And, this, and not, not around 24 hours, something like that. So that's why they adjust cell volume as well as cell area from the dynamic point of view. And then they want to summarize all together. Fig figure A, panel A, cell volume, cortical shear modulus depending on the stiffness, pattern size, osmotic pressure on soft and glass. Okay? All show that Reverse, reverse correlation, right? Negative correlation. Cell volume increase, stiffness go down of cell. And then when they all combine them together, they show like this. Okay? This is some general concept of the for generalization. Cell volume decrease, which means stiffness increase. And cell volume increasing, stiffness decrease. Or the cell. So next, as I told you, how is, ah, one more time. Okay, we understand the volume and cell area and cell stiffness, right? But what, hap what will happen to nucleus? So they want to correlate cell general volume versus nucleus volume. Depending on the very more di different stiffness, parent size, and compression, and different cell, they want to show when cell volume increase, also nucleus volume increase. So, so
So we can say that in generally, except the osmotic pressure, when cells spread more, which, which means cell volume decrease, right? And then nucleus volume also decrease. Some tendency. But that one person, but this is some concept. Okay? Okay, we skip the figure B. Mm. Uh, figure B means uh, when they tagged mm -hmm. some, some protein inside the nucleus, let's say nucleus volume decreasing, which means the uh, movement of the protein can be diminished, right? So in control, without compression, just normal nucleus volume, high, compress means less nucleus volume. When they are less nucleus volume, protein inside nucleus, their dynamics, their movement can be diminished. Because the black one is higher, the y-axis is about uh, how they change the, how they change dynamically. But they are decreasing under osmotic pressure. When the nucleus volume decrease because of the cell volume decrease. In the last, okay, we know the, this correlation. Mm -hmm. And then, what is the meaning of the stiffness change? Cell stiffness change. Okay? So they want to check stiff, soft, and soft hypertony. Hypertony means more osmotic pressure. Okay? Generally, stiff compared to soft, what will happen? Stem cell can spread more. And cell volume decrease. And then, so cell area increase, cell volume decrease, cell stiffness increase or decrease? Hmm? Increase. increase, right? Cause here, hmm. when cell volume decrease, it, you can replace cell area decrease, right? Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, cell volume, the cell volume decrease, left side, cell area increasing, mm -hmm. and then cortical stiffness increasing. Mm. So area and cortical cell stiffness positive correlate. Mm -hmm. mm. Cell volume, negative correlate. So this is more high cell stiffness, low cell stiffness. And then what's the cell stiffness under this hypertonic? High or low than soft? Harion, can you guess? So this stiff substrate has high cell stiffness, right? This is a low cell stiffness on the soft. On the soft, but hypertonic. Automatic compression, they are compressed. Yeah, they can, they turn to high stiffness of cell, right? And then, what's the osteogenesis? Black one is osteogenesis. Osteogenesis, more, less, in soft, more, even the soft, but with the hypertonic, with automatic pressure, because cell stiffness increase compared to soft. Confirmed by lungs to BSP, marker of the osteogenesis. More dense, smear, more dense. Okay? And then there, also there is cell volume change, as we expect. Low cell volume, high, low nuclear volume also correlate. And then this cell stiffness also exactly we imagine, right? High, low, high. And then they check, they culture the MSCC under adipogenic condition. So when, in case of MSCC, you can choose the exact composition of the supplement. For osteogenesis, maybe A component can be used. For adipogenesis, B component can be used. Sometimes this component can be combined. Mm -hmm. This is, we can call it, half and half differentiation condition. The stem cell can want to go osteogenesis or adipogenesis, like that. 
in case of uh, atypogenesis, glass means, okay, what is the glass? Very steep. And then, imagine, cell area to the increase. Cell volume, decrease. And then, cell stiffness, increase, right? But in case of hypotonic, hypotonic means less osmotic pressure. The volume can go up. And then this high stiffness of a cell can decrease. Okay? And then this red is fat, adipogenesis. So fat amount is enhanced in hypotonic because cell volume enhanced and then cell stiffness decrease. And then PPL gamma is a marker of adipogenesis, more enhanced. And then, as you expect, cell volume increase. Nuclear volume increase, cell stiffness decrease. And then what will happen to the cell area, to the area, when we check right after hypotonic condition, maybe no change. It, it's short, too, short, short, too short. But maybe when they culture 7 days or 14 days, maybe something change. And then maybe compared to the glass, glass hypotonic has less cell area. Because when cell volume increase, which means 2D area should diminish, right? According to our previous general finding. So, and then over time, they check osteogenesis and cell volume. Increase of osteogenesis percentage, cell volume decrease. And then when you replace the cell volume to cell stiffness, maybe correlate positively, right? Adipogenesis, cell volume increase, adipogenesis increase. When you change the cell volume to cell stiffness, maybe reverse, right? When adipogenesis is increasing over time, cell stiffness can decrease. Mm. Okay, any question?